Hello, hello, welcome again. This is the Old School Movement. And for the next four weeks, we're going to give you something a little different because we know we're all in this together. We're all staying at home. We're all in isolation at this difficult time. So we want to cheer you listeners up a bit and give you our 80s old school lockdown. We're saying like, you know, you could be bored at home now. There's so many box sets you've watched, how many games you've played, how many dinners you've cooked, how many press-ups you've done. But what if you was in the 80s? You've got to remember there was no Netflix, there was no Amazon, no streaming sites at all. So you had no internet. Come on, no social media. You ain't going to be on your phone because you didn't have a mobile phone. No virtual game playing. Only one telly in the house, remember. And if there was two, it's probably one of them black and white dial TV. No video. Maybe one video in the house, you know. So you had no Sky. Four channels. Maybe three if it was the early 80s. So And channel locked off at 12, so you've got to remember that. You know, no working from home because you didn't have a laptop. Kids couldn't play on the tablets. So what would you do back then? What would have been your form of entertainment if you was on lockdown in the 80s? Plus, we got a new quiz. So join us for the old school movement, 80s lockdown. Yeah, this is dead. Yes, yeah, so let's go on with the show, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so, so now we're on lockdown. It's, don't you yeah. think it's like instantly the clock's turned back to like, say, night uh, yeah. too? Yeah, yeah. It feels Crazy. like, every, every day feels like, you know, you know, I know, um, Sunday in the 80s. Yeah. Sunday in the 80s. All the, clothes, all the shops close at 12. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Damn. Damn. So there's like 80s football coming back on the TV. Yeah. Thing, it's like every time I turn something on, I see, I see you know. Classic games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old games, man. Yeah. Kevin Keegan in that, okay. man. Yeah. <laughs> Even the soap. The soaps have had to go down back to like what they were in the 80s. Like, like in the 80s, like twice a week. Twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you remember on Sunday was um, Omnibus. Omnibus. Yeah, you get all four or five in a row, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You don't get that no more, man. I forgot all about the, Omni- the Omnibus <laughs> super long episode. Man, uh, yeah, it has. A, it does feel like that, man. It's mad, and, and, and it's, it's crazy. You know, that like there's, there's no hairdressers open, man. I'm worried. We're all gonna be big rocking mullets and, and big afro soon, man. Like, nah, I'm all right. The ones, man. Hey, that's the ones that can still <laughs> grow the hair, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right there. I've got my crazy bit. time. Yeah. Like you say, it being like a Sunday, you say all, all that's missing mm. is Dickie Davis on the telly, <laughs> watching Last of the Summer Wines after the Antiques Roadshow and sitting yeah, in front all... with, a, with a plate of turkey drummers and crispy pancakes. Yeah, and it? That's all you, watching that's Police missing. Five. Yeah, yeah, Police right. Five. What was, his name? what was that bloke's name? Um, Sean Taylor. Is it Sean Taylor? <laughs> Short, something like that. Sean Taylor, Police Five, and then, and, and then the Smurfs. Come on, there. The Smurfs, or, was it, or if it went to Smurfs, it was Funny Bones, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Dracula cartoon. Yeah. I need that. Sunday watching. That's what it's like, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a bank every day, every day now. That's it. That's it. That's it's crazy. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we're we're here on our on our isolation old school movements podcast um, as i was saying at the top of the episode um we're gonna we're gonna go through we're gonna through, go go through what what would you be doing if isolation was in the 80s man so like guys like with the resources you had in the 80s at home if you was in isolation what would you be doing at home would you be watching videos playing toys what? compared to now the, the options are kind of slim isn't it It'd be very slim computer, computer games weren't great you might have had one or two Mm. On, on an Atari or something, but it wasn't like how you're entertained for hours on a PlayStation right. these days. You know, it's yeah. not the same. The same is it? So it, it, probably playing with toys would be the main thing. You know, the, the, the Star Wars mm. figures or whatever. Or year next thing would be board games probably. It depends on what year in the eighties. If it was yeah, like, yeah. If it's like post Spectrum eighties. Yeah. <laughs> Then, you know, what I mean? there's, there's a few games yeah. you could get on with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say yeah. like we're talking early eighties. Yeah. Early eighties, as in like, ah, uh, we'll see. Pac-Man yeah, and Space there's, there's, there's problems. Like pong, pong yeah. on the old twisty paddle games. There's problems yeah. then. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. problems yeah. around there. Isn't it? <laughs> you've got your toys. You've got your board games. Videos, I suppose, are just coming out, aren't they? Just Hopefully, coming out. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Videos just... from DER, if you can quickly get in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or from um, Radio Rentals or DER or the, or the, or the Video Van Man. <laughs> yeah, but he ain't coming out. But he ain't coming out. Yeah, there's no videos, yeah. mate. The only uh, videos is what you recorded off the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Your homemade videos. <laughs> Not them sort of videos. You're not watching either. Evil Dead. You, it's true, it's true, it's true. However, <laughs> if if you were lucky, you would have rented something before the lockdown, and obviously can't that's take right. it back. That's, that's what right. you're saying. And, and it's funny, you say, yeah, but that but that's what we're going to get to. It's like video shops, I start to say, might not be open, but 
You remember back in the day when you could rent out free videos for the weekend, it was a certain price. If the isolation was happening in the 80s, what do you reckon um, video shops letting us rent out a video for that length of time? If they did, what would your five be out of the five genres I'm going to say now? Like action, comedy, sci-fi, fantasy, cartoon, or kung fu. You know, everybody loves the kung fu, man. Ooh, so you can't, the kung fu, man. Can't deny kung fu, you know. Even though I've never seen one on beat, man. They want to see the kung fu? Uh, I've never seen a beat, man. It's Always VHS, man. So out of those five, what five movies would you take? We starting with action. Yeah. Action, action. Action is hard because, you know, they Action is hard. And we're like going across the, main, the whole of the 80s. Yeah, and that's like the main genre yeah, I might have to say entertainment. That. I, can, yeah. I, can, I, can fix, I can pick... F- oh, God. Predator would have to be... Predator's 80. Yeah. Predator. That, that would be my choice of action. I've probably got three Arnie films, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And Predator's so, big. Oh, you've like, got to choose one. So you're choosing Predator, Stan. I'm choosing Predator. We, what, what what three are in your mind, Chris? If Predator's gone, I'd say Predator, Terminator, Commando. Them three you got, together, you know, you, you know, you've got. You've got to choose of, one, though. You, you've got to choose one. There. You've got one to choose. But I could also watch Robocop over and over. Oh, again. I forgot about Robocop. Yeah, I could. You've got to choose one. Robocop. You've got to choose for, one. For action, for action, you know, I used to quite like a Chuck Norris or even a. Do you, do you remember Clint Eastwood? Do you remember Heartbreak Ridge? I watched that yeah. film so many times back in the. Yeah, Heartbreak, Heartbreak Ridge is good, but. If I've got one action film to take, yeah. I'm going Predator. You're going Predator as well? I, I, mate, I love it, Robocop. Yeah. I know from back to front, but yeah. I'm looking at... If it's I'm between watching, Robocop and Predator. Because, it is, yeah, it is definitely it between is. Robocop and I Predator. it is, yeah. You know, there are so much to choose from. There's Commando, there's... Uh, yeah. You know... Terminator 1. There's, ter- there's yeah. Terminator 1. <laughs> For me, it's between <laughs> Robocop and you say Stax? Highlander. It's Highlander. No, that's, no. For me, that's not... <laughs> that's a big movie. <laughs> I'm not the only one seen Highlander. It's Stax mocking. You're mocking Highlander. <laughs> <laughs> Highlander's a big movie. Watch that film again. Yeah. Yeah, you I'd love to watch that again. Yeah, exactly. That's a big... Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> there right, can only I'm, be one. I'm with you. But I ain't that going, one. I'm going Predator. I'm with you too. I'm going uh, Predator. Cause I would have choo- I, I had Predator and Robocop in the little five I was thinking. You two have gone Predator. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. I could watch that. Stuck yeah. in isolation. Predator's just that Predator's just that movie that just like you know you, you know it back to front but you can't get enough of it if it's, on, it's the kind of movie that if it's on telly I'm sitting down making a sandwich and, yeah. and watching it watching. Yeah. it's the same with Robocop the same think. with Robocop yeah. or you're going to dip in and out of it and, and, yeah. it, and then movies like you, you do catch bits you think I didn't notice that I didn't know it exactly it's still yeah. now like it's like the films are big the films are big I still love it's, watching them to, now, yeah. to these days yeah. but only, only them originals not these reboots remakes nah, part nah. twos part threes just them originals nah. No, they ain't happening. So we got yeah, the action sort of top so, action, so. action. Predators in our in our action. Predators. It's It'll about survival. You, you you're picking up tactics while you're watching it as well. Yeah. And techniques. Tactics. You never know, man. We're we we're, we're in we're in strange times. You know what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. You're picking up tactics and survival techniques while you're watching it. It's about it's about teamwork and, and I'm not yeah. mean that the teams in it, the actors that are in it are big. They yeah. are. Compared to they running are. man, compared to you know, yeah. Terminator. Yeah, they're, they're not as big. Hey, movies, it works. The cast's good. Yeah, it, it's a wicked film, Predator. Predator's there Predator, for, for, Predator. for our top you, film you, of isolation. Do you know the bit that still makes me laugh in Predator, right? Do you, not, do you guys remember the scene where, you know, they realise there's a Predator now in the in, in the jungle and the they jungle. set up all these traps. <laughs> yeah, they set up yeah. all these traps and then they hear the Predator and the trap doesn't work and Carl Weathers' character Dylan looks at Dutch on oh, Schwarzenegger's mm-hmm. character and goes, yeah. "What next, cheese?" He's <laughs> <laughs> like, catching the mouse. He's catching an invisible mouse. <laughs> the way he says it. <laughs> <laughs> you can, there's so many other scenes people mention, but that bit, that bit is a sly <laughs> little bit. It <laughs> makes me chuckle. Um, <laughs> so that's action, predator. Mm, predator. So comedy. Yeah, if you had a one. comedy. It could be a comedy stand-up movie. It could be a comedy movie. So we're saying like, you know, a Richard, a Richard Pryor stand-up, an Eddie Murphy stand-up, an Eddie Murphy film. A, You're naming them a, all already. You're naming them all a, already. You know, what would it be? What would it be? Do you want to run, run for a few of mine, right? I, yeah. Straight away, Eddie Murphy's going to be in there. You know, You've, mm-hmm. you can't be stuck at home bored yeah. without a bit of Eddie. So Beverly Hills Cop. You know, it's got to be. I love Beverly Hills Cop One, but I also like yeah. Raw. Um, are you gonna have the stand-up or are you gonna have 
the movie. The, the, the movie, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. See No Evil, Hear No Evil is another one. I could watch that over and over movie. again. Richard yeah. Pryor and, and Gene Wilder. And Gene Wilder, yeah. So I could watch yeah. that over and over again. I don't know if you remember another Gene Wilder film called Woman in Red. Do you remember it? Woman in Red. Oh, of course. Woman in Red. Woman in Red. Stevie Wonder and the soundtrack. Stevie Wonder soundtrack. That film, yeah. I could watch. In the I 80s, love that I watched film. that film so yeah. much, man. I love We used to watch film. it. But there was a scene where... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a bit of nudity that we used to freeze frame. <laughs> you can but see it. Is it. The film's yeah. hilarious. The film's hilarious, yeah, man. So yeah, for com- comedy, <laughs> and then I, I'd also love to watch a Police Academy. You know, Police Academy. Police Academy. Yeah. So I, yeah. I'm, I'm stuck between I'm Beverly Hills Cop, Police Academy, uh, A Live Raw, Woman in Red, or See No Evil, Hear No Evil. What about you, Stacks? Fly Alive, like. Yeah, uh, I, I I was introduced to him in the eighties. It, it probably was a seventies stand-up. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah. It, I can't but remember what it was called. That counts, but, but it would have been in the video shop. Yeah, so. yeah. 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 But yeah. either it'd have to be like you said, see no, um, see no evil, hear no evil. Yeah. Or or, or prior stand-up. But I remember as a kid, even though I wasn't really supposed to be watching it, I remember watching the prior stand-up loads of times. Yeah, like how we done with Delirious and Raw, probably. Yeah, so, yeah. See, I, I, watched, I saw more Richard Pryor than I did Eddie Murphy. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Richard I Pryor. Richard Pryor is the originator of it. Oh, he's yeah, too funny. Exactly. Man. Yeah. You know, too my, 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 but mine would probably be Eddie Murphy Delirious because yeah. that's the first comedian. That's the first comedian I saw. And I say Richard Pryor is the master. He's my favourite. Mm. But Eddie Murphy took it to a level for me because he yeah. could impersonate yeah. people yeah so he had he, he you know he, he had the richard price style but then he added he could do mick jagger yeah. he could do luther van joss he could do michael jackson he could do mr t and and that was all pop culture of people that we were watching at the time yeah. so i could watch that again and again if i'm yeah. in isolation i want to laugh mm. i can just go let me see the mr t segment <laughs> let me see the ice cream <laughs> segment <laughs> let me see the star trek segment you know what i mean it, 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 so for me it'd be delirious so, so, so stats. You said Richard Pryor. Yeah, I'm going Richard Pryor. As curious okay, you say, I'm, I'm going to see no evil here, no evil. You're going to see no evil. Okay, so now sci-fi fantasy. There's, There's a wide range, one. but I'm going Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I thought. laughs> there were so much sci-fi fantasy films at that time, but it's just hands down for me. I, I have to go Aliens. There's no sci-fi oh, that big, for me. Big. That's a big one. It's a big. One. I watched it the other day. Every time That's it's on, I watch it again. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Do, do, do you prefer that to the thing? Oh, oh you caught me there. Mm. Caught oh, me there. Like, we, 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 uh, aliens, you're talking about alien, aliens, or one or two? Both. He said aliens. Oh, yeah, a, two, I think yeah, I, I like one. aliens. Yeah, a bit, a little bit better than the first one. But now, man, the first been, one I put that on par with the thing for me. Up. The second one's a little bit better than the pair. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, I like, yeah, I like of, aliens. Aliens is a lot aliens more. Is more more yeah. action. Right? Aliens is wicked, but the thing, the thing is just the thing is deeper. It's a deeper oh. film. You know what? I'm for... changing. I'm going to because I've always said the thing is my absolute favorite movie of all time. So I'm changing the thing. It's favorite that. sci-fi. Yeah, you can't beat that. When he goes to resuscitate uh, him, yeah, he goes through his chest, and then his head comes up. Come on, yeah. you can't beat. Lights his arms off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that scene. Right. That scene's like one of the best scenes ever. The blood testing scene. Oh, the, uh, mate. Right. In the eighties, it was good. It was the a thing. wicked film back the in the eighties. Well, Chris, what's yours, man? I'm like you, man. My favourite sci-fi film is every day. Empire Strikes Back. But yeah, also like Return of the Jedi. Last Starfighter was another one I loved in the eighties. That was one of them films. Yeah. It come on TV a little bit more probably than other films did. So yeah, you saw it a bit more often. You know, during holidays and stuff, it might come yeah. on. So yeah, that was one of them ones I used to like watching that. But now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Empire Strikes Back for Empire you know, Strikes Back. Can't say anything else other than Empire Strikes. Yeah, Back. Yeah, Stacks chose the thing. This is good. Okay, so cartoon, yeah. cartoon movie, cartoon movie in the eighties. So now we're saying like, you know, you had the Lord of the Rings cartoon. You yeah, had yeah. the um, uh, Warship, Down. Warship Down. You had the Animal Olympics. Yeah, you Mickey Mouse's. Uh, um, yeah, the special. Yeah, uh, the uh, Snoopy Pantasia. specials. Oh, God, I forgot about him. Um, so yeah, which cartoon? Which, which cartoon film, guys, man? Oh, you know, you could even say a Walt Disney film, a Jungle Booker. Uh, I'm veering towards Fantasia. 
Fantasia. That okay. went on a bit for me. I like bits of it. I dipped in and out of Fantasia if it was. What on. was the? Didn't Bugs Bunny have like a feature length thing? Yeah, yes, I, I've he written did. that down. It's that? like holiday special one. That one was he good. Did. It was about an hour I and a half. Yeah, and an it, opera it was one. Good. It had opera in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Had, yeah. Uh, what's his name in it? The um, Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd. Yes, they were all yes, in yes. It. it was a good. I'm sure he went to space with the Martian. Yeah, one. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that's where he went, Marvin. Yeah, yeah, there's a big, yeah. there's a big monster yeah. one. I'll look after him and I'll pat him yeah, I'll and I'll give him and call him George. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's classic. classic. I love like that one. Film. And overall, I probably would go for like a Bugs Bunny holiday special, like yeah. one of them, like that one. Yeah, it's funny you say that because because even though I said uh, cartoon film, I was going to cheat and say, remember in the video shots we could just get a a, a Looney Tunes. Yes, compilation yes, uh, uh, yeah. two hours or just yeah. loony tunes that's what Mary i would Mendel- get <laughs> Mary yeah. Mary yeah. Mary yeah. Mary yeah. you're gonna get lots of different <laughs> stories yeah that, that was Man. wicked yeah that was well worth uh if you were getting five films out and you were stuck for that fifth one that was worth getting that one definitely yeah definitely definitely that. That, that, that's what i would have had so yeah. stacks Otherwise, it'd be it'd be pre-recorded stuff that you've recorded off a Saturday morning. It'd be like back-to-back Centurions, back-to-back Battle of the Planets, or back-to-back He-Man, something like that. Otherwise, if yeah. you did, couldn't buy a, rent a, a feature-length cartoon. Well, what about Transformers yeah. movie? Yeah, tra- Transformers. Transformers yeah, movie. That was okay because it wasn't it was, much was else about, was it? Yeah, it was okay, mm, but what? I would be entertained in isolation with with Looney Tunes. I so would I. Yeah. For an hour. Definitely got more jokes and more entertainment for watching Bugs in the game. Yeah. Definitely, you know? yeah. Even though I love Animal Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember there was a bit where he went to, like, I think, like Saudi Arabia or somewhere, and he was like Aladdin, or he was the genie in the lamp? Who? Bugs Bunny? Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that was part of the film. It was, it was a bit in it where he yeah. was like Saudi Arabia. I can remember yeah, he was the genie. I, yeah, that's, yeah, what I, yeah. I think that's what I used to love about Bugs Bunny. They just, just switch it up at any switch time. It up, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just confuse you. It just confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> just wear a hat and he's a different person. Yeah, I feel like watching Bugs Bunny now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can. If the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find that later. We're all saying if you're stuck at home and you're on a cartoon, you're going for like a Bugs Bunny holiday special one of them feature yeah. length ones yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that yeah we'll yeah. agree with that definitely. Yeah, All right. definitely let's go on to our fifth and final a kung fu movie man Ooh. you can only choose one kung fu <laughs> the one kung fu that's going to entertain you entertain in you. isolation <laughs> so mine would be drunken master or thunder and mantis or yeah, Snake in the Eagle shadow one of those three yeah, because classic. those three films there they're just like you know there's different there's different sections of different fight scenes that are just amazing. Yeah, um, That's Jackie Chan's Drunken Master. Ja- Jackie Chan and Snake and Eagle Shadow, both Jackie yeah, Chan movies. The, the but young, young but days. yeah, but Thunder and Mantis is just for me. It just it just took it to another level. Yeah. The story, the kung fu, the different styles. Mm. Uh, they even had the drunken style in it, so yeah, that yeah. would be my. Kung Fu Fast and it had comedy, so that would be my yeah. Kung Fu Fast. That was the good thing. They all had a bit of that slapstick sort yeah. of well, 60s, is, 70s uh, comedy that we were yeah. used to for them days. It's even yeah. them, them Kung Fu films. Those old Kung Fu films. That was his influence, like Charlie Chaplin and, yeah. and other. Yeah. That's it, Howard Lloyd. Things, and, yeah. and, said, and the Drunken Master is such a wicked technique, and it just adds to the humor. And, uh, and yeah. The, and yeah. But for me, like, you know, I, I, I was thinking, you know, what Kung Fu's as well, and I, I can watch, you know, like Thundering Man is, you know, Snake in the. Eagle Shadow, Monkey Shadow, whatever. Mm. I can watch these so many times, <laughs> over and over again. Mm. Watch them so many times, but for me, I think what epitomised the '80s for me was a ninja film. Looking at it now, a corny American yeah. produced Canon, yeah. normally Canon Studios. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Revenge of the Ninja. For me, it's out of Revenge of the Ninja or my favourite yeah. Bruce Lee, which is Way of the Dragon, which yeah. is the one in the Coliseum when he fights, fights Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so it's happening to, but I'm probably going to go Revenge of the Ninja. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like, I like Just for Sho, Sho Kazuski and yeah. his son was in it. And yeah. That one was good. That one was good. Yeah. Yeah. I would, you know, I would love to have said Shogun Assassin even, but yeah. because yeah. that, that holds a lot. That was, that was, that wasn't your fast paced Kung Fu action, but it was the way of the samurai and it was, yeah. it was I like them story and it was just films. like, and yeah. Yeah. Would- Getting into the nineties and reliving mm. that through music again and hearing them, yeah. them samples from that. Yeah. Them films are big. Them films are big. Yeah. What are you saying, Stax? I'm going as much as I like Jackie Chan, and I'm a movie with the Arm of God and Drunken Master, big movies. Mm. Um, I have to go Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. Because Enter the Dragon. Every single Sunday, 
throughout yeah. the eighties, yeah. I would sit down and watch Enter the Dragon every single Sunday. You would see it quite That'd right. be perfect for isolation then. You know what I mean? I, again, when it's on, it was yeah. on about three weeks ago. I sat down and watched the whole thing. Yeah, yeah same thing. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> 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 out, <laughs> outside, <laughs> inside. You come right. straight out of a cup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Congrats have you, you, <laughs> you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Go. <laughs> did you know, did you know that Jackie Chan was one of the um, yeah, stunt doubles in, 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 in that scene and a lot of yeah. fight scenes in *The Dragon*? And yeah. also, the man that composed the yeah, *The Dragon* theme also composed the *Mission Impossible* theme tune. Yes. And when you, and knowing that, you hear the yeah. hear the similarities now. Yeah. The big yes. broad sounds and stuff. Yeah, man. And I don't remember the guy's name, but Maybe. yeah. No, no, but that's where Jackie got got one of his early not early breaks, but he, you know they. Yeah. From before that, he wasn't really. Yeah. Known. He had a couple of breaks, man. He broke all his body. Yeah, he's broken himself many times. Yeah, man. I'm surprised he's still alive. <laughs> I, rate, I rate him for doing his own little stunts. Oh, and when yeah. you watch them outtakes, you know, they're, oh, sometimes they're better yeah. than the movies. Just watching his outtakes, amazing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not his old movies, though. So what we going? With your, what was your kung fu? Okay, you, you so a drunken master I'm, for you. No, Thunder and Madness is mine. Thunder and Madness. 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 That's a big film as well, though. So, we've got our top five each so we've all got our action is predator mm. predator's done it yeah all of us have um our comedies mine's delirious chris yours is see no evil here no evil and stacks was richard Pryor stand up sci-fi or fantasy film mine's impulse strikes back same and the thing stacks was the yeah. thing yeah. cartoon we all agreed on looney tunes compilation all Bugs yeah. Bunny, yeah. All Bugs and Bunny, kung fu front and madness for me enter the dragon for me I'm Revenge of the Ninja for me. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that that's that's the start. That's you know, there were so many films we could have watched, so many films we could have had, but we had to choose five of each genre, and that was our five. Um, hey, that time is coming. That time is coming. Our first quiz show in isolation. So yeah, let's get into it. You guys excited? You guys excited? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a hype for this. I've been waiting for this. Wait. <laughs> wait. 80s trivia, man. You can't 80s beat trivia. it. 80s trivia. The lockdown quiz, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear that lockdown quiz theme tune. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Love them so, theme tunes. As I was saying, we've got our first guest, our first ever guest for our first quiz. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Lee May I say, the, I'm there. May I say, I'm the biggest fan. Not the first guest. I'm the biggest fan of the show. Easy. Thanks, man. So, Leeway, anyway, where are you from, man? I'm from the west side of London. We're excellent, so excellent. And so, and so how have how have you been? How have you been coping in in its isolation? What have you been doing to, to to keep yourself busy? Just going back, way back, listening to you know retro songs, albums, um, yeah. watching you know retro films. You know, yeah. just going back, way back. And funny enough, 70s and 80s movies. Yeah. yeah. You know, the movies that have, that you don't really get to see them on TV anymore because they've just been, you know, just yeah, been put, pushed to the put side. back, mm. pushed to the side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Seriously, man. guys, I love the shows. I love Thanks, the shows, man. man. Appreciate you listening, man. Thank That's you. like we're telling your friends as well. Get, get of course I am. <laughs> like I say, and I repeat again, in the words of Inspector Gadget, Chief, I'm always on duty. <laughs> always. Always spreading the word. Always spreading the love. I love right? that. I love that. So I'm going to tell you the rules of Lockdown 80s quiz, Lee Roy, and the rules are you've got to answer as much questions based on the 80s, only on the 80s, within mm -hmm. 60 seconds, yeah? Whoa, you know whoa. Answer, say pass, yeah? I'll take your first yeah. Only, yeah, mm -hmm. is that understood? My goodness, this is like whack a day. Yes. <laughs> mallets and mallets meets family fortunes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. Three, two, one. What was the chocolate bar Snickers called in the UK? Marathon. What was the name of He Man's four legged feline friend? 
Battle Cattle Cringer. <laughs> so whatever. Alan Sugar PR, was the chairman of what computer software company? Oh, Hewlett Packard? Do or do not, there is no try, is a saying from which 80s sci-fi sequel? Ah, oh, pass. What type of drink is Quattro? Soft or alcoholic? Soft drink. Which pop star had hits with Stan Deliver and Prince Charming? Adamant. What is a ghetto blaster? Uh, stereo. In primary school, what part of the day would you sit down in assembly and sing hymns? In the morning. What are bird's eyes alphabites made from? A potato. What does BMX stand for? Uh, British Motor Cross. So Leroy. Yes, sir. You played the game. Loved it. You were good. You got a grand total of seven out of ten. I'm happy. Yeah. What did Leroy pass on? Yeah, passed on one. Do or do not. There is no try. Surprised you got this wrong. It was uh, a saying from Yoda yep. from Empire Strikes Back. Yep. So, yep. Yep. so you could have done the voice for me. Yeah. No, no, no. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no try. <laughs> Um, voiced by Frank Oz, also voiced Buzzy Bear and Miss Piggy. Did you know that? Yeah. Was he Kermit as well? No, no, that was Jim Henson. Kermit. Ah, so it was Jim it was Henson, just, yeah. Just, just Fuzzy yeah. Bear. Fuzzy Bear, Miss Piggy, and a couple and other Ms. characters. Easy, easy. Um, um, so, so two questions did... you got. Two questions you got wrong was wrong? question number three. What company did Alan Sugar chairman? It was Amstrad. Remember the old computers, Amstrad. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he started but it was Tottenham that wore Tulip Packard, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, started mm. business at 16, found, started that company at the age of 21. Which is, uh, and it was the last question there. BMX, almost. It's the uh, bicycle motocross, not British. but oh. Almost, almost. <laughs> Seven out of ten, good score. That's a good score, that's a good score. Thank you very much. And, Th um, thanks for listening to us. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for, Thank for all the comments. You know, we so look forward to listening to it, hearing your comments, man. They're, they're great. So, no, anyway, but stay, thank you, stay guys. safe, brother. I will do. And thanks again, once again, lads, for, uh, you know, giving me, you know, taking me through and back in time. You know, right, um, right, the right, nostalgia right. is is brilliant. Uh, you know, pleasure. Chris, Chris, with your knowledge, <laughs> keep that up. <laughs> Oh, Chris, seriously, man. Yeah, <laughs> He's the Aaron, host, a, host with the most. And stats? <laughs> what do you think? He's back no, big up. Do you, do you want more D singing? More jokes. <laughs> Less more singing. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sing a lot more now, anyway. I'm going to sing a lot more. <laughs> Great oh my man. goodness thank you very much thank you thank take you care. very Be much safe. Anytime, man. Take all care. right take care Thanks. okay Thanks, bye. bye 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 wow that was a blast yeah i kind of like was, that man that was brilliant yeah, man so ladies and cool. gentlemen that's it that's our first that's our first that's our first can you beat seven in 60 seconds with our lockdown 80s quiz have you got the 80s knowledge do you know your kiora from your ribenas tell us <laughs> tell us tell us um, you know the information. Chris, where can they find us, man? For this Check call? out our website. Go on to www.oldschoolmovements.co.uk. Check us out on our website or check our social media pages. You know, we're on Facebook, Old School Movements. Join our group. Follow us. And, and remind them, what, what can they win if, if they enter this competition? we got an exclusive Old School Movements Hip Hop Legends bomber jacket. That's Blue it, one. man. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. We've got a bomber for you. We've got a bomber for you. Um, I shouldn't say that. I've got a bomber for you. You've got a nice jacket for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, that was our first lockdown 80s episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we'll have another subject we'll be talking about. And we'll have another um, contestant to play our lockdown 80s. I was going to say, touch right if you think you can beat me, right? Yeah, exactly. So, um, I'm Mr. Lucas. I'm Chris. And I'm Stats. And stay safe, guys. Take time. care. Peace. Peace. The next time when we film this, we're going to do it chase style. I want to get four contestants <laughs> versus me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That's what I'm rooting. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so we get the visuals. That's what's next. <laughs> Those were the days, the, the, the days I remember. remember.